Welcome back. It's now 618. In case you missed the memo, it is Halloween time, and the only thing scarier than the season this year is inflation. Am I right? So we sent Jordan to find his best Halloween costume, of course, on a budget. We're looking for the best Halloween costumes for the lowest prices. So I called up Mr. Zombie Expert himself, Zachary Pepper, with the Memphis Zombie Walk for a little help. He says the best place to start is the thrift store. <laughs> he says you'll want to think about three things before you get here. What characters you want to be, an idea of the type of clothes you're looking for, and of course, your accessories. After about 15 minutes of searching, we found exactly what we were looking for. All right, now, Zach, we were able to find two outfits of $27, pretty good deals. It's time to start taking this fit to the next level now, right? So we have our base models. We got to start talking accessories. What do people need to think about? Well, the first thing we're doing with the thought process in mind is Halloween on a budget, right? So we have our two themes that we picked, nerd and baseball player so we're gonna come in here we're gonna take a look around and uh, we're gonna see what we can come up with which didn't take us long at all and then it was time for my favorite part putting it all together all right we're back in a costume Zach talk to talk to me about what we got going on well we had a whole lot of fun today doing this we got the classic nerd with a t-shirt with a button-down shirt short tie and khaki cargos give us a little strut for me he is styling in profile, and I tell you what, we love this. This is great. Super easy, super fun, very reasonably priced. Altogether, the nerd costume cost us about $23. For costume number two, we decided to go with something a little scarier, a psycho baseball player. The shirt, cargo pants, mask, and fake blood came in at around $36, which brings our Halloween total to $59 for just two outfits. And of course, if you want to save even more money, try digging deep in the closet, maybe your parents or grandparents or maybe your kids, to find some old stuff that you may be able to reuse, cut up, or get a little dirty as well. And we want to see just how creative you can get this year on the budget. Send us your pictures of the costumes that you create and how much it costs. We want to see those receipts. Hit me up on Facebook or Twitter at Jordan F. Live. You can always email me, jfoster at abc24.com. Guys. This you is a fun one. I ain't going to lie to you. I had a lot of fun doing this Knocked one. it out of the park. <laughs> yeah. You did. I said Steve Urkel. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. I'll and take Jordan it. says he's dressing up as me. I don't know where <laughs> he got that I'm, from. I'm, I'm like a mix between Urkel and Weatherman, you know? Oh, what, what Weatherman yeah. have oh. you seen? What channel are you watching? Like, you know, you. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. I come in every day trying to dress my best to the nines, and you're going to shave me like this and say that. I wear that, that you know, little short tie. What I will say, though, is this is coverage you will only get right here on ABC. This is an exclusive. Right? Amen. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't get this nowhere else. So we that's your Halloween you. costume, then. You're done. <laughs> I, I guess so, but okay. I would love to see what you all can come up with on the budget. So maybe we'll have to circle back and, and, and see what we can do. My only yep. DIY costume I've ever done, I was the cookie monster, and I made Dre be the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave that where you put it, Aaron. <laughs>